Well, hello everybody and welcome to our worship today. But where is it coming from? Where are we today? Well, we're here in Derbyshire and uh, we've gone away for a short break in our caravan. As you can see, here it is. So it's been a nice, uh, relaxing situation here. And uh, I just want to let you know what our topic is for today. What we're going to be talking about, we're going to talk about Jesus. When he took bread and fish, just a few loaves and fish, and he broke them and he gave them out and fed 5,000 people. Can you believe that? 5,000 people. That's astonishing. And we're going to learn a little bit more about that today. So, uh, welcome to all the people who'll be watching here from St. Peter's Church um, in uh, Yorkshire. And also um, a big welcome to all the deaf people uh, from all over the country who are worshipping with us today. And I hope you can relax and focus on God and we'll worship him together.
Jesus withdrew from that place in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard this, they sought him and followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus arrived, he got out of the boat and went ashore, and he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them, and he cured their sick. And when evening came, the disciples came to him and said, this is a deserted place and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they can go into the villages and they can buy food for themselves. And Jesus said to them, they don't need to go away, you give them some food. And they replied, we've nothing here, only five loaves and two small fish. And he said, bring them here to me. And then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds and they all ate and were filled and they took up what was left of the broken pieces 12 baskets full Twelve baskets And those that ate were around 5,000 men. Plus the women and the children. Our Bible reading today from Matthew's Gospel tells of events that happened just after John the Baptist's disciples came to Jesus and told him that Herod had beheaded and killed John the Baptist. So Jesus withdrew from there to a deserted place by himself. Now that might have been a strategic retreat in case Herod's curiosity and his wife's scheming turned against Jesus. Or 
baby. He just needed time to reflect and mourn the loss of his relative, friend and fellow preacher, John. Or maybe Jesus was just doing what he always did, taking time out from his kingdom work of teaching, healing, preaching and leading his disciples to get time with God in a remote and isolated place. But as they often did, the crowds followed him. Now it's important that we who follow Jesus follow his example and prioritise time for ourselves and time for God among the demands that others make on us. Because be sure if we live a kingdom-centred life and generous lives, people will seek us out. But as we prioritise our time apart, we also need not to be selfish or possessive or legalistic about it. When the crowds followed Jesus, even though he was seeking time apart, we read that he had compassion on them. He gave them what they sought, and he gave them his time. And even when the disciples reckoned it was about time to end the meeting, and suggested everybody went to get their dinner, and maybe, just maybe, they could eat their own food, Jesus said, the crowd don't need to go away and generously gave away more of his precious time and emotional resources. And he took the piteous small amount of food that he had and he blessed it and he broke it and he generously gave it away. And in the process, Jesus and his disciples and the crowds saw a wonderful miracle take place in their own hands as if the healings were not enough in themselves. And that miracle brought home the parables about the mustard seed and the yeast and the seeds. And if we offer to God our time and resources and generously share them with others, we'll soon see miracles in our own lives, won't we? Loving God, you are our creator and sustainer. 
when you open your hand, you satisfy the hunger and thirst of every living thing. And so we look to you whenever we are in need, trusting in your love and your abundant goodness. As you once fed the hungry crowds with five loaves and two small fish, we ask that you would again fill those who are empty today. Pour out your spirit on all who hunger and thirst. We pray for those who are physically hungry, whose stomachs are empty. We think especially of all the people around the world who are facing critical food shortages, who are suffering the effects of malnutrition and starvation and watching helplessly as loved ones die. Lord, in your mercy, open your hand. Pour, Pour out, out your spirit, your spirit so, so that they, they may, may be filled. filled. Especially in these difficult times of the COVID-19 pandemic, we pray for those who are empty emotionally, who are lonely and long for companionship and love, who are caught in the grip of depression or overwhelmed with grief. Lord, Lord in your mercy, in your mercy open, open your hand, your hand. Pour, pour out, out your, your spirit that so that they may be filled. We pray for those who are spiritually empty, who are troubled but don't know where to turn, who long for purpose and meaning but don't know where to look, who need you but don't know you yet. Lord, Lord, in your, in mercy, your mercy, open your hand, your hand pour, pour out your spirit, that so that they may be filled. It. God, we praise you for your abundant gifts in our lives. Pour out your spirit on us as well. Fill us with your compassion and love, so that we would willingly share some of your love, care and compassion with those who have need. Lord, Lord in, in your, your mercy, mercy open your hand, pour, pour out your spirit, your spirit so, so that, that we, we may be filled. filled. We pray for those who continue to suffer ill health, whether from COVID-19 or other life-threatening conditions. Lord, support those who face the trials that the end of life brings. We pray for families who cannot be with their loved ones or say goodbye in the way they would like. Lord, Lord in, in your, your mercy, mercy, open, open your, your hand, pour, pour out, out your spirit, your spirit so, so that, that we may be filled. filled. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, who came so that all humanity might come to know the abundant life that comes from you. Merciful, Merciful Father, Father, accept these, these prayers, prayers for the sake, for the sake of, your of your Son, Son our, our Saviour, Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.
Well, thank you for worshipping with us. It's been absolutely brilliant to have you here. So um, before you go and uh, switch off, I just want to remind you to uh, like this video and please, if you can, subscribe uh, to, this, to this channel on YouTube and you'll see that there's a little subscribe button uh, or you can look for a photograph of me at the end of the video in a circle and you can click on that. But what, what happens when you subscribe uh, to one of these YouTube videos? Well, you'll see more of our videos, more like this one. And uh, another thing you'll do is you'll help us um, in our mission and outreach. Um, so other people will, who are watching YouTube will see our videos in the, the recommendations down the side and maybe they'll click on it and join with us uh, as we worship together and that will help our outreach. So thank you very much and remember to subscribe and see you all next week. Bye!